Hi lovely people, welcome to another video. We are 31 weeks today, guys. I cannot believe I am doing this all over again and it feels so new. It feels like I have never been on this journey before. Yeah, we officially in our third trimester. And today I will be giving you my third trimester update, the things that has been happening. And guys, it is really true when they say every pregnancy is different. Even if you have the same sex over and over again, each of them is very different. And this one has been extremely different, yes. So I'll be giving you an update on how my third trimester has been. So stick and stay with me, okay? <laughs> Hi loves, if you're new here, my name is Christina. I am an LPN and I braid as well. Um, on here I do videos in nursing, hair and beauty, lifestyle and a bit of everything. So if you enjoy any of this, please do not forget to subscribe and be part of this channel. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. To my returning subscribers, I am so so grateful. Thank you for all the love you keep showing me and the support. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, now let's get straight into the video. All right, guys. So third trimester, it's been a journey. It has really, really been a journey. Oh my goodness. But there has been a lot of transformation. And the major one that I am glad to talk about is the limping. I remember I made mention of it, I think, in my first trimester in my second trimester I was limping so bad but thanks to God it is really really don't like it is better way way better now than it was earlier so I am so so grateful for that because it was not so easy at all but thanks be to God it is way way better and I am so so happy about that um, another thing that has changed tremendously is my um, nausea like feeling nauseous after eating and the phlegms and all that it has really decreased and I'm so so happy just that um, I think somewhere last week I threw up yeah I wasn't expecting that but guys it happened I threw up and that was so so rare because my other two pregnancies as I keep saying after three months everything ceased and it was just cool but with this one oh my god the nausea like was back to back to back and even in my third trimester I still threw up so that was a different thing for me again I also noticed that whenever I take um heavy breakfast like maybe oatmeal or um porridge I tend to have a lot of phlegms but whenever I take Lipton or you know Milo or tea it is better so I decided to just do that for the time period because I love to take my oatmeal and I love to take my house of cocoa but it wasn't working like that gave me a lot of phlegms so I decreased that and I am just sticking with my Lipton. I am drinking Lipton like crazy and I love it. Yeah, I have loved Lipton. I don't know. Yeah, so that is another new update. And another new thing I realized was whenever I sit for long, oh my goodness, this baby will kick like crazy. But the moment I start to be active or walk around, I don't even feel it this baby will sleep throughout but if i sit oh my goodness the baby will keep kicking back and forth back and forth and it's so so intense and with this baby i felt this baby very very early unlike my other two pregnancies maybe on my um fifth or sixth month but with this one even in my third fourth month yeah whenever i look at my tummy i could see my tummy was moving but I started to feel the kicks like four months, five months. I'm like, what? It was so, so different. It was so, so different. Like the, and the kicks are so, so intense. Yes, Lord. <laughs> so, so intense, guys. Again, I still have my varicose veins and it's getting way, way. Like, it's getting up. It's getting up to my tie guys those very close veins oh my goodness it's getting all the way up to my tie I just pray it goes like after birth 
oh lord i don't know let me know in the comment section if you know about very close veins having very close veins while you were pregnant because this is so new to me i have done some research about it some are saying that it will go um after birth some are saying that it will go but will not all the way you know go away and guys just let me know personally because with my mom's um she had like just a number of it around um her thigh area but it just went away when um i was born she said after some time it went away you can see the marks but it's not so thick as you know it will freshly you know appear it has all like gone away but it has some marks around indicating that she has something like that and the way this is spreading all the way to my tie oh my goodness i don't know <laughs> I don't know how to take this but guys let me know in the comment section if you have an idea about varicose veins um, during pregnancy and after pregnancy how it will do to your body let me know in the comment section okay because you're a girl I want to know I want to know <laughs> um, also guys um, you know I work night shift so usually at work oh my god when it clocks like 4 a.m 5 a.m that is when the sleep sets in i get so so tired and i feel very sleepy but the thing is i i see more activeness with this pregnancy than the earlier ones yeah i see more activeness with this i don't know if because like baby girl has started school so whenever i come you have to take care to so like i have to do things you know what with my first pregnancy that was my first so Obviously, there is no other um, responsibilities around, but now I have two already, so there are responsibilities you have to do and with this one. So I have been more active with this pregnancy as compared to the two other pregnancies. And um, yeah, that is, that is what I'll say. I have been very, very active with this. But the tiredness and the sleeplessness, oh my God, it is real. I go to work, like working 12 hour shift and it's night shift. Whew. It ain't easy. <laughs> it is not easy, guys. 4 a.m., 5 a.m., that is when I feel so tired and so sleepy. Oh, my goodness. And sometimes I feel so, so bored to drive. I don't like to drive. So I'm like, I wish I could have, like, have a driver who can drive me back and forth because I get so tired. And also, guys, this thing has been so surprising to me. Um, whenever I eat, like if you come from Ghana or you come from any part of Africa that um, malaria is a thing um, or even when you have fever you know you get that bitter taste in your mouth even after eating or even after drinking water that is what I've been feeling after I eat like I enjoy what I eat what I eat but after it I get this bitter taste afterwards and that make me spit a lot yeah I don't know what that is and i don't know why that is happening like after i enjoy eating my food the aftertaste is better and it's been on for some time i don't know why and i don't know what to do to stop that chewing of gum has been worse that will even make me spit the entire day um taking hard candies like nothing nothing is helping with my um bitter taste and like i don't know i don't know nothing is happening I just think I have to endure. <laughs> also, again, guys, I have been spitting. The spitting has been a thing with both pregnancies and it still is. Yes, I have still been spitting. So wherever I go, I get my bottles. I'm surrounded with bottles all around the house. <laughs> all around the house. So, yeah, that is it. Oh, I got pregnancy. Oh, Lord. <sighs> it is not easy but we are here and uh, we are enjoying it I just cannot wait to pop my baby out and hold my baby and you know I appreciate the good things um, that comes with it so on this note if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to hit the like button also share this video share your comments in the comment section and also subscribe to this channel okay i will see you in the next video till then do not forget you are unique in your own special way i will see you in another video okay love you guys bye